Hello everyone. Myself, I am Aparna and my teammates are Vamsi Krishna and Karthik. Our title is Crop Yield Prediction to Maximize Profit Usage Using Machine Learning. As we all know that India is the second largest population, population country in the world in which majority of the people in India have agriculture as their occupation. Our system will suggest the best suitable crop for particular land based on content and weather parameters. Hence, by utilizing our system, farmers can cultivate a new variety of crop which increases the profit margin and it can also avoid the soil pollution. Introduction. Our primary goal of this work is to, it will suggest the tech suggest the techniques for the uh, for the specific crops here we will use machine learning techniques for the crop yield prediction which helps the farmers to track the soil quality depending upon the approach based application why we are predicting the crop here predicting predicting the crop is necessary because day by day our world population is increasing so in order to provide sufficient food we need to predict the crop by predicting the crop we can get more more yield of the crop Domain of, a, domain of our project is machine learning. As we all know that machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence, which allows the software applications to become more accurate at predicting the outcomes without being explicitly programmed to do so. Machine learning algorithms uses the historical data as input and it will predict the new output. Why machine learning is important? Machine learning is important because it, nowadays it is widely used across the world. It is also used in Facebook, Google, and Uber, and many other parts of the many other parts of our daily life. Next, Karthik will come. Most of the existing system and hardware are based on the expensive and they lack accurate results. The productivity of productivity of agriculture is very low because since past few decades, crop prediction in order to compute agriculture growth depended on the farmers' previous experiences. The drawbacks of existing system are particularly when growing new crops, farmers may face the risk of market failure or production problems. There is a high chance of money and time loss in previous existing system. Now, by proposed by our new system, the machine learning, we use machine learning techniques are executed in order to predict the best crop production. The crop is chosen on basis of current atmosphere and climate and soil parameters. Next, advantage. Predicting productivity of crop in various climatic conditions can help farmer and other partners in essential basic leadership as far as agronomy and product decision. The model can be used to select the most excellent crops from region and also yield, thereby improving the values and gain of farmers also. Crop yield prediction is performed based on textual data set and any user can check type of crop best suits for conditions and get crop suggestions. The architecture of a crop yield prediction, our system is we take a sample data and that sample data is reprocessed, which is cleaned and delete the duplicate data. Then the pre-processed data is sent to normalization. The normalization is organizing the data in a data set and it reduces the redundancy and dependency. And these normalized data are sent to K KNN algorithm and we'll get the results. Next, Vamshi will continue. Hi, everyone. Today I'm going to explain about the software requirements and hardware requirements of the project. Uh, software requirements are Windows 10 or with minimum processor of i5 or i7. Mm, the software used for this project is Python 3.2.7, PyCharm or PyDev. Hardware requirements of system which uh, should be minimum of 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, hard disk of 40 GB. Uh, in this generation, floppy drive is mostly not used. It is, instead of it is used uh, SSDs, um, a monitor, uh, a mouse, and a minimum RAM of uh, 512 GB. Uh, the modules in this uh, project are upload crop, crop data set is the first one. In this uh, crop data set, uh, it is used to predict the name and predict the name and yield of the crop 
uh, which is classified and uh, regress, uh, regretted in uh, different algorithms. Uh, then the preprocessor data set, it is used to, uh, this preprocessor data set is uh, conducted on Indian government data set and it has been established that then random rain for, uh, random forest regressor gives the highest yield prediction accuracy. Uh, next to the train machine learning, this focuses on the uh, district wise uh, yield prediction according to the growth zone in, the, in that particular district. Uh, this is used to give the best yield uh, in that particular area according to the so soil, temperature, moisture and uh, climate conditions. Next is the upload data set and predict the yield, uh, then which are, which are the results which are uh, which are taken out from the machine learning, uh, trained machine learning. This uh, this upload data set will uh, compare those both and uh, gives the best output and yield of the crop uh, so that it can it is used to predict the output of the crop. Next, in this uh, project, uh, algorithms used are Navy based algorithm and KNN algorithm. Navy based algorithm is used to um, classify the uh, classify the uh, given data and uh, it combines the all the data and gives the a set of data set uh, which is used for the uh, which is used to simplify in the next next algorithm uh, um, mostly this feature is used to it is used to it is used as a class which is uh, unrelated to the presence of another feature uh, this model is used to build for a particular large data set. Uh, next, the, after this Navy based algorithm, KNN algorithm, K nearest neighbor algorithm used for both regression and classification, classification prediction problems. This method helps in interrupt output, calculate time and predict power. This is also used as a method of sample based learning. And the flowchart of this uh, project is first the user checks first the system checks the user is uh, authorized user or unauthorized user. Then the uh, it is asked to upload the crop data set, then uh, uploaded crop data set is pre-processed, then the model of the uh, uh, model of the project is generated, then the algorithm is trained according to the uploaded crop, crop data set, uh, then the algorithm gives the output according to the given uh, historic uh, data set, then uh, this uh, given output from the trained machine learn algorithm, uh, the, then uh, we have to upload the test data set. Those are uh, the test data set and the output from the algorithm gives, uh, uh, compares and gives the best output so that the uh, crop uh, crop yield is correctly produced. Then it uh, ends the process. Um, uh, this takes place in the uh, interface which I have been created in the PyCham or PyDev. Then conclusion. Researchers have done on the so many researchers are done uh, on the soil moisture temperature and humidity and rail for data sets in districts of many states like Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Uh, using this uh, machine learning, it is used uh, to set the model uh, in future, provide, providing other factors that uh, greatly influence the crop yield is our concern to produce uh, to produce a large yield. Uh, this algorithm is used or this project is used to predict the yield before only before the crop is cultivated. Thank you.